Hello my lovely Capricorns. I hope that all of you are doing amazing and today we're going to do your reading for end of July going towards end of August okay and um, I know I've been away from my channel for such a long time but the reason for that was that um, I've had uh, quite a bit of um, intensive months and I know that for a lot of you could have been the case as well perhaps July has been a very intense month but for me the past few months have been overall really intensive so I've been trying to focus more on my energy and to come back with a more refreshed energy for you guys um, what I'm seeing for the energy of Capricorn in July going towards August is that I feel that a lot of you um, um, I feel that for some Capricorn you have cut off someone okay maybe you cut off the communication maybe you just lost the communication with someone but whatever it is I feel that for some of you perhaps perhaps you were the one who had to cut the communication now the reason for that is for some Capricorns uh, perhaps you wanted to really move to another direction for some of you maybe you just decided that you don't want to go with this person um, for those of you that you're twin fame and you're watching this perhaps um, either they cut off the communication perhaps they blocked you or there's a possibility that maybe you were the one who did that um, now what I'm seeing is that the universe has other plans for you and I see that for some of you you're not seeing this but this person is returning back into your life so there is that return there is that coming back of this person into your life that you're absolutely not expecting that for some capricorns this could come as a total shock okay but i feel that for a lot of you august moving towards september there's going to be passionate reunions happening and almost the um the energy the sexual energies are going to be so intensified for you guys um that i feel like both of you are going to be kind of like a magnet for each other and it's impossible to ignore this love um, as I see for a lot of uh, unions that are happening for twin flames around the August time and also going towards the fall season for some and springtime for others that are living in uh, southern hemispheres okay so we are also going to have a new moon in Leo pretty soon we are going to have it on July 31st which is going to change the energies from uh, the Cancerian season into Leo season okay so we already have entered the Leo season and I don't know if you guys are feeling the shift but I'm feeling a lot of this shift towards um, a little bit more um, uh, a happy energetic more creative energies are coming along slowly but surely okay so let's move the camera down and see what is going on with the energy of Capricorn okay we're going to be using this deck and it's called um, Oracle of Dragon Fae I really love it it's absolutely beautiful and it's done by different artists so the art is different on each of these cards and um, I'm also I also have a couple of Oracle creators that they have contacted me and they have generously sent me a sample of their um, Oracle cards that I'm going to be doing unboxing in this channel and there's going to be a lot of drawing so um, stay tuned for that guys there's going to be exciting times ahead okay all right my lovely Capricorn let's see what your energy is going to be saying okay we have dragon of rebirth whole again this is beautiful oh my goodness i feel like this is the energy of yin and yang this is the energy of the union uh we also have bells will ring <laughs> okay the energy of the union again we have dreaming uh dreaming your wisdom okay for them let's see what your energy is going to be saying all right we have a brilliant solution is on its way for you guys and for them we have take action okay really really powerful unions are happening for you guys really passionate it's going to be crazy divine union oh my goodness all right so that we know we also have healing for you guys I think I'm gonna draw some more cards for you guys we also have um, attunement okay all right a couple of more cards are showing up here we also have you are a peaceful being this is beautiful uh, born innocent <laughs> this is on their end and we also have conscious ever eating the lovers at the feast this is beautiful 
Okay, so what is going on, my lovely Capricorns? Let's take a look at it. Okay. And um, sorry, guys, I can't have all the cards for you guys um, within the angle of this camera because it's just not possible but i'm gonna do my best to cover it okay seems like we have one card less for them which i'm going to draw more okay so hold on a second let me see if i can move it a little bit more okay all right so we need one more card on their end that i'm going to draw and see what else spirit please give me one more card for your divine counterpart we have be light of the heart okay beautiful all right so <clears throat> what is going on with your energy is that i feel like for a lot of capricorns you are going to find a solution when it comes to this relationship okay there's going to be a brilliant solution which is going to be provided by spirit for you okay so you don't have to worry about it i feel like although for a lot of capricorns you have been focusing on your own healing this time okay there has been a lot of time for healing and i feel like you're ready basically the time for healing is gone i feel that the past few months you know you took the time you worked on yourself for some of you maybe you have been working on your craft whatever that it is maybe your business maybe um maybe pursuing your dreams whatever that it is i feel like you're done and i feel like your time for healing and time to be alone is over but for a lot of you you decided to stay in this energy still i feel like for some of you maybe you're still healing from um whatever that has happened in the past okay but for majority i feel like you are done healing and i feel like you're moving towards coming into union with this person because i feel like your time has come okay what I'm also saying is that I feel that um, maybe for some of you, you've been thinking like how the heck this is going to happen. For some of you, that practical aspect of it, aspect of this relationship was missing. But what you don't know is that the universe is going to offer you a solution when it comes to this relationship. Okay. If you guys have not been in communication, I feel like there is going to be a communication. And I feel like this person is just going to forcefully kind of like, you know, they are going to take action. Okay. This is a time of action for them and we have number 22 and also number 10. What I feel like this person is going to take action towards it and they're going to find a solution when it comes to how you guys are going to live together, how you guys are going to be together. Because I feel that on your end, perhaps the concern was over where are we going to live, where are we going to, um, you know, have this uh, life together. Basically, I feel like for some of you, that practical aspect of it was missing and you decided to just kind of like focus on your healing and focus on yourself and for some of you on your craft. Craft, I see um, for some of you maybe um, I feel like maybe for some of you you have a business could be like in making jewelry whatever it is I feel like for some of you you've been really focusing on your he on the healing aspect of this relationship okay and you're fine and you've been doing pretty okay with it what I'm also seeing is that I feel like for some of you you might be feeling a lot of these um, sexual energies around you okay i feel like the passion inside you is just going to be intensified for the month of august okay just like this red dragon i feel like this is like kind of like your blood this is like passion which is going to be reignited in you okay um i feel like there's that sense of like you know you want to physically be with this person okay but at the same time remember that um they're also wanting that more than you okay this person wants you more and um but you might be feeling their sexual energies around you as if this person is touching you it could be a time when you're feeling like this person is technically like touching you in your shoulder your neck or even kind of like kissing you so and i feel like you're you could be quite aware of what is going on okay you could be quite aware but i feel like they have um perhaps they are showing a lot more um activity when it comes to um telepathic communication i feel like there's going to be a lot of more activity and also sexual energies around you okay so you might be feeling that this month 
what I'm also seeing is that I feel like for some of you, um, it says the lovers at the feast. This is beautiful. I feel like for some of you, there's a possibility that maybe you are going to uh, kind of like if you live close by this close by i feel like for some of you you will literally just bump into this person you're just going to see them um not by accidents but it's a, you know it's um it's basically what the universe has been arranging for you for such a long time okay so i feel like for some of you um you know this is the case and also what i'm seeing is that for some of you since your healing has been happening you have decided to change your diet for some of you i feel like you are changing your diet maybe you're becoming vegetarian maybe you're eating healthier it doesn't have to be vegetarian but i feel like for some of you maybe you're just eating healthier in general okay and um maybe for some of you you're even you know meeting this person at um kind of like i feel like for some of you it could be like health festivals or um, summer festivals for some of you where people are gathering and just eating um, healthy food things like that okay it could be even like a party um, that people are just eating more consciously or it's a party where people are just more conscious in general like kind of like a could be like even spiritual gatherings things like that okay but i feel like since your um healing has happened since you decided to um focus on your healing you've decided to eat healthier as well okay and for some of you as i said you might be bump you know bumping into this person when you are uh going to a party or somewhere where there's like a you know public gatherings okay um with kind of like with conscious people even like with your soul family or with your soul tribe okay now what has been going on on their end is that i feel like this person is going to take action towards you so strongly okay i also feel that um this person has been gaining a lot of wisdom when it comes to this relationship okay they have discovered something about this relationship that maybe you're not aware of i feel like this person believes that you are the twin flame maybe you've been having a lot of doubt about it maybe you haven't been exactly um using that term maybe for some of you you just um knew this but for them now it's quite obvious that who you are because they're gaining a lot of wisdom okay i feel like you know this person has had some kind of an awakening perhaps okay um what i'm also saying is that i feel like um i feel like this person has good intentions towards you okay this person has innocent uh kind of like uh, intentions towards you besides like you know you might be saying well you know there's a lot of like sexual energies that i'm feeling from this person but what i feel is like this is not only about the sexual attraction i feel like this person has true love for you why because look at how this person has um has this light within their hands and there's like dream catchers so i feel like this person has had perhaps dreams about you for some of them maybe they even had could have had even sexual dreams about you but i feel like it has that innocence in it it's not because they're only attracted to your body but i feel like they're attracted to your light body or to your higher self as well basically um, if you're twin fame and you're watching this, I feel like maybe you two have been telepathically communicating with each other and therefore it could also be, you know, around sexual energies as well. Okay. I mean, telepathic communication is not always, um, you know, conversations. It could also be, uh, sexual energies as well that you might be feeling. Okay. But I feel like this person could have been even dreaming about you. Okay. Could be, could have been dreaming about you. Um, what else has been going on um we have be light of heart i also feel like you know this person at this time maybe they are embracing a lot of their masculine energy i feel like um this person wants to take action no matter what it is they want to come into union with you and they are coming forward so strongly and that's why you might be feeling them around you okay as if like they're touching you almost or they're like kind of like you know um touching your shoulder or even your neck i feel okay um i feel like this person is really embracing their masculine energy perhaps they have been uh so much into their um intuitive or their feminine energy but now they are embracing their masculine energy as well and therefore for those of you that you're feminine and you're um capricorn and you're watching this you're um 
I feel like maybe your masculine is embracing themselves, okay? And vice versa, if you are, uh, you know, if uh, a masculine watching this could be, you know, um, the other way around. So whatever it is, I feel like this person is embracing their masculine energy. They're taking action. I feel like maybe they have been in their feminine energy for such a long time and now they're also embracing both sides, okay? But mostly the masculine energy is coming along with the take action cards, okay? I see that for some of you that your um, divine masculine Capricorns that you're watching this, your divine feminine could be um, someone with red hair and this person could be even have like some gothic, um, uh, I don't know, influences. Maybe this person is just interested in gothic, okay, gothic um, clothing, even like maybe wearing a lot of black and someone like with red hair it could be like really, really long hair as well, okay now um for some of you that you're capricorn and you're watching this you're divine feminine i feel like maybe you have black hair okay black hair with blue eyes for some of you okay just give me a second guys All right, what else is going on for Capricorns is that I feel that you are coming into union with this person, okay? And for some of you, I feel like you're going to marry this person. Why? Because we have, it's beautiful, it says the dawn catcher and it says bells will ring. I feel like you're going to hear a news from this person. This person is going to message you. I feel like for some of them, their intention is quite clear. This person wants marriage. This person wants something stable with you. So I feel like for some of you, there is that wedding bells that is going to be ring for you. Okay. Pretty soon I feel for Capricorn. Um, but it doesn't have to be marriage. I feel like for some of you, it's just um, because when the bells will ring, that means that there's going to be some kind of a news coming your way. OK, but in general, I feel that for a lot of you, this person's intention is to marry you or to have something uh, solid with you. OK, that's what I'm feeling. And I feel like their intentions are very pure and innocent. OK. Um, what else is going on and you know we have the yin and yang energy i mean we have so many like look at all this yin and yang energy we have dragon fate of rebirth whole again i feel like you two the energy of yin and yang is coming together for both of you guys okay this is a red dragon or orange dragon and a blue dragon I'm also seeing for uh, some of you that you are Capricorn, you're watching this, I feel like you could be um, a golden ray and your loved one could be a blue ray, okay? If you haven't watched the video that I made for you guys about different rays of color, you can watch that. Um, you can uh, figure out which ray of color um, you belong to, okay? But I feel like both of you have been going through transformation and this yin and yang is coming back together. The union is happening, okay? It's happening for you guys. Um, you are a peaceful being. I feel like there's going to be that passionate union or reunion for Capricorn happening, as I said. These two dragons are joining together, okay? You see? And we also have the yin and yang, so very very powerful and on top of it look at that we have the divine union um i believe that these are the only sets that um union is not coming into like a pair but you know instead we have the dragon and we also have this feminine energy with um kind of like looking pregnant so i feel like for a lot of you it's possible that maybe you are going to have a child with this person but for a lot of you i feel like this is going to be a creative project okay when i talk about twin fame reunion or soulmate or um, whatever that you believe this person is you know it's not always about making babies it's not okay for some of you yes maybe that's what you want but uh, for others it's just um, coming togetherness and creating something uh, together okay for some of you this could be a creative project that's coming uh, that both of you are going to give birth to okay um, because as you see even though this is not in pair but there is a dragon behind her and she's kind of like sitting in the middle uh, with a pregnant belly which a pregnant um, feminine energy um, I know that a lot of people um, 
uh, kind of like translate this as pregnancy but I usually see it as a creative energy that's going to be created by this yin and yang by joining the forces of masculine and feminine okay so beautiful oh my goodness okay and as I said yes for some of you you are going to have those you know traditional wedding I feel like you know uh, that's gonna happen but for a lot of you this is going to be um, coming together uh, in union basically in a committed relationship okay now let's see what else is going on for you guys it's really exciting actually and we are going to use this deck and it's called the Dao oracle cards i believe okay but i will have the name of these decks for you guys as always in the description box below please show me what else is going on for the energy of capricorns okay let's see guys oh my god i feel like this is a lot let's <laughs> let's do it again because i feel like there's so much okay i think we got it we have holding together number eight again the union as i said i feel like the union is very kind of like close for you guys i feel like august september we also have oppression for them we have the veil okay we have the creative and we also have what is this darkening of the light okay let's put it here let's put this one here and maybe we get one more card for you guys oh whoa, this is a lot the spirit please give me one more card for capricorn energy that's a lot still i get one more card for capricorn let's shuffle it again all right one more card for capricorns energy please the spirit please give us one more card for capricorns energy okay it's taking a long time but let's see what is going to be showed up here for you guys one more card please the spirit for capricorn oh wow oh my goodness this is not happening guys Maybe you guys just meant to have one card, but I want one more card for you guys. Okay, I think one card, two cards has been showed up here and it says um, development and the arousing, okay? So I will have these cards for you guys and let's see what your energy is and I apologize for this lengthy um, shuffling. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what else has been going on is that I feel like you guys have been you know the progress that has been made in your journey has been pretty slow but i feel like it has been slow but it has been progressing okay it has been a gradual progress i feel like a lot of you have been um growing in your spiritual path continuously okay perhaps it's not it hasn't happened as fast as you wanted it to be but i feel like the development has happened okay i feel like for a lot of you you had um that wake-up call i feel like for some of you you had awakening upon meeting this person for some of you i feel like perhaps this um the meeting with your twin flame has um could have caused you to get that awakening that uh, that wake up call okay a shake up that's a wake up 
And what I'm also saying is that I feel like this meeting, this union could also be a shock for some of you. I feel like for some of you, you just will be in a shock, okay? Um, awe-inspiring, dramatic power shifts. I feel like you, unpredictability. I feel like for some of you, you might just not have expected this to happen, but it's happening, okay? Um, I feel like it's going to come out as a surprise for some of you. Um, what else has been going on for you guys? Seeking truth, wisdom, insight, getting to the bottom of things. I feel like for a lot of you, you have gained the ultimate wisdom in your spiritual journey. You have been diving deep, as deep as you could. And as I said, I feel like for a lot of you, you have gained a lot of wisdom, a lot of wisdom and your healing is done. I feel like for you guys, it's you could i feel like it's just like you are at the bottom of it you're at the bottom of it there's nowhere else to go because i feel like you have gained all the wisdom that you could possibly get from this journey okay and it's time for something new i feel like it's time to come into union for you guys as i said yin and yang is going to join the forces um the forces of masculine and feminine are going to come together now um what has been going on on their end i feel like this person could have been a little bit depressed maybe um i feel like they also could have regret what has happened in the past between you two for some of you maybe they felt like it was their fault uh, maybe for some of them they were they're blaming themselves for whatever that has happened in the past i feel like for some of them they might have been feeling um very tired okay very tired very much of like oh my god this will never happen to me because i did this and that okay um it could be like vice versa but what i feel is like this person could have been going through a lot of depression perhaps um they've been cut off the communication because they just couldn't do it anymore maybe for some of them um it, there has been a lot of things that has been happening in their life okay i feel like Although I see that they also have gained a lot of wisdom, just like you, I, I feel like this person has also been gaining a lot of wisdom and um, they also been dreaming about you, okay? Maybe um, they wake up, they've been, you know, kind of like sad because you two have not been together. So I feel like, you know, this person is getting out of this energy though, okay? This energy of exhaustion or depression, um, they're getting out of that and they're stop like kind of like punishing themselves for what has happened in the past. Maybe for some of them, they're blaming themselves, okay? maybe something has happened between you two and they feel like maybe it's their fault um that's what i'm seeing or if they feel like you know if you know this perhaps this relationship is something that they are looking at it as a punishment maybe they are seeing like you know why am i being punished why you know you know why did i meet this person but not coming into union okay so for some of them could have been maybe this person is suffering from some kind of a depression it could have been like a mild depression okay what else um what i'm seeing is that i feel like this person could have been not communicating with you because they had to go inward okay a lot of them they have been going inward and as i said they have been experiencing a lot of you know feeling blue feeling depressed not wanting to communicate um they have been trying to confront they have been trying to overcome their difficulties but it has not been easy for them okay and that's why perhaps this person has cut off the communication or maybe that that was the reason you cut off the communication because this person was just simply couldn't communicate um or couldn't be available to you emotionally okay but they have been going through a lot okay they have been going through a lot so just be aware of that and but they are getting themselves out of that i feel like there's going to be a lot of light for them i feel like this person is seeing the light is seeing the light and taking action towards it okay this person is also seeing you in their dreams they might also be seeing a lot of synchronicities as we have number 22 you might also be seeing a lot of synchronicities at this time what is going on as the energy of the union we have holding together number eight and we have the creative this is beautiful i feel like um and it's really interesting that <laughs> this is really interesting because the creative energy is usually the female energy or the feminine energy but it says the active yang principle strength dynamism tenacity inspiration heaven masculinity authority father okay what I'm seeing is that I feel like perhaps there has been a father figure that could have been 
kind of like against both of you coming into union okay and what i'm also saying is that i feel like in general the masculine energy is getting stronger okay it's getting stronger um i feel like since the full moon the energy of masculine is just coming along stronger as um this person is going to take action towards you and you know kind of like embracing their masculine energy or their yang energy okay but what i'm also saying is that i feel like there, ha there could have been a father figure that could have been you know in between this connection for some of you that maybe was kind of like maybe this person was preventing both of you to come together i also see that for some of you there's a possibility that there has been a loss in either your family or there's like a father figure could have been um maybe there has been a loss in the family of either of you too okay there's a father figure that i feel like maybe this person has left um has left the 3d world maybe this person has joined um, the spiritual world maybe they passed away okay for some of you that's what i'm seeing it could be on their end too because this is the energy of the union but in general i feel like maybe this person could have been a reason like maybe they've been trying to prevent both of you to come together but now it's like that is gone okay that energy of resistance is gone basically okay what else is going on we also have holding together union cooperation and uh, solitary membership teamwork participation making a choice this is again coming together of uh, coming togetherness or the union that's going to happen we have number eight okay for some of you that you're watching this i see that your divine counterpart could be uh, a water sign for some of you i also see aquarius for some reason i also see aquarius and for some others i see um a pisces energy or a water sign okay um i feel like in general the masculine energy is going to be embraced by both okay on both ends you are going to embrace it perhaps in the past there has been some kind of an oppression of the masculine energy but the masculine energy is coming along strongly okay it's coming along because you know um this person i feel like they are trying to take action towards you okay so my lovely capricorns let's see what else is happening with you guys okay just a second all right now we are going to use what we're going to use We're going to use this deck and it's called um, the Goddess Tarot Cards, okay? This is also new. All right, Capricorns, let's see what else is going on here. we have balance for the energy of the union we also have judgment wow i think this is energy of the union again we have nine of swords for them and we have nine of staves for you guys we also have six of swords for them we have the moon for you guys and we also have four of staves this is beautiful as the energy of the union i mean there is going to be a union happening for you guys there's no doubt about it okay i feel like for some of you um you're going to be spending a lot more in nature i feel like for some of you maybe you can spend some time with your pets for some of you maybe you just love to be around animals um maybe for some of you you're just um 
you love to kind of like do dog walking things like that i don't know why i'm saying that but i feel like for some of you you just want to like surround yourself with animals at this time okay um what i'm also saying is that i feel that for some of you you are going to aim for your goals you're going to basically hunting but it's not animal hunting i feel like it's hunting for what you desire in life okay and i feel like this time is going to be about love okay for some of you you're going to be the hunter as opposed to be the prey okay so i feel like when it comes to this love you are going to be the hunter you are going to be the person who's going to be um the one who's gonna get this person okay um i feel like this person loves you very much but i feel like as i said they have been going through a lot of um depression in the past okay this person has been depressed i feel like they have been going through a lot of difficulties um but they are getting out of that with six of swords i feel like this person is getting out of the troubled times okay they are moving towards better days i feel like they have been experiencing a lot of pain as i said this person for some of you has been going through a really bad depression for some of them for some of them mild depression for some of them really bad depression that they are you know getting themselves out of it for some of them maybe they are going to retreats or um, some kind of a um, retreat event um, to get themselves out of that okay now remember that these are general readings so take what resonates i feel like it could be vice versa for some of you that you're watching this I feel like for some of you that you're watching this you have so many pets i mean you could have like more than one dog you have like different type of animals in your house i don't know whatever it is i feel like you are just connecting with animals even like with um going in the wilderness going to forest connecting with mother nature i feel like a lot of you that's what you're doing but in general you're becoming that the hunter okay um I also see a lot of creative energies coming towards you. I feel like a lot of you have these ideas that you haven't been putting into action yet, but you are going to put that into action this month, okay? I feel like August is going to be a crazy creative month, creative month for Capricorn. You are going to as i said you're just going to reach your goals whatever it is if it's love then that's going to be you're going to be the hunter if it's going to be creative projects then again you are going to aim for that okay because you have this um you know this bow in your hand which i feel like you're aiming for what you want okay so a lot of creative energies and i feel like when it comes to love you are going to be the hunter okay and this person is going to be kind of like your prey um <laughs> so what else is going on as the energy of the union i feel like this um both of your energies of masculine and feminine are coming into balance perhaps there has been a lot of feminine energy if you've been feeling a lot of feminine energy now your masculine is also going to come into balance so i feel like the yin and yang is getting balanced within both of you okay um definitely this coming together is happening I feel like for some of you this person could have been coming from a far away maybe for some of you um you're not expecting this meeting but it's just happening like i feel like this person is coming from a long um maybe journey maybe they have they have been going through a long journey and coming back into your life unexpectedly okay um definitely i feel like for some of you maybe um maybe this person has done something to you maybe they broke your heart maybe something has been going on but i feel like you're going to forgive this person okay so whatever that has happened if they have uh, done something wrong to you or you have done something wrong i feel like you know um, the justice will be served and i feel like you know you are going to forgive them or they are going to forgive you okay um yeah this is really beautiful we have the guinevere and it's uh, the judgment card i feel like you are going to forgive this person if they come back um or they're going to forgive you if something has happened like on both ends okay so there is that sense of like forgiveness for, uh, forgiveness and also you know there's going to be fairness i feel like you know if something has been done wrong now it's going to be done right okay um i feel like i feel that when this person comes back maybe even your friends are going to be saying yeah forgive him forgive him because you know you might be feeling like 
well i want the truth from this person if they want this relationship or not and i feel like they have been on and off but i want something you know tangible i want something more stable and i feel like this person is going to offer you that okay this person is going to offer you that i mean this king is like kneeling down okay and i feel like they could be asking for forgiveness <laughs> okay um, so we also have the four of staves or this is the four of wands and this is a twin flame union card okay so definitely I feel like for some of you you're going to marry this person you're going to join hands with this person in a long-term relationship if 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 not let's say um, if not uh, an official kind of like wedding but i feel like both of you are going to come into union together for some of you it is definitely an official wedding because i feel like there is going to be wedding bells going to be ring you know whole again four of staves or four of wands we have so many union cards it's a little bit crazy guys but i think that you are you are um seeing what i'm seeing right now yeah, it says bell will ring. Bells will ring. So I feel like this is a wedding bell, you know. For some of you, this is a wedding bell. There's no doubt. For some of you, you're just going to have that traditional wedding with this person as well, okay? All right, my lovely Capricorns. I think I'm going to give you guys some heart cards and then finish your reading, okay? But wow, what a powerful reading. What a beautiful reading for you guys. Let's see. Spirit, please give me uh a message for capricorns please okay and let's see what it says this is beautiful it says help is on its way the raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart this is a time of deep profound and positive transformative transformation but courage strength and patience are required you're supported by a sea of love this is beautiful I feel like this could have been both of you going toward you going through a lot of turmoil in your life. I feel like this could have been this is the energy of both of you, okay? So I feel that you know the raging sea sea or you know the the storm is going to end for both of you pretty soon, okay? It's gonna end and I feel that you two have been going through profound transformation. And it says you're supported by sea of love. You're supported um by the universe okay about this love and i feel like definitely you know there's union happening for you guys okay as i said for some of you i see traditional wedding all right my lovely capricorns i hope that you guys enjoy your reading i'm sending you guys so much love